So 343 just confirmed that more operations are on the way, which is great if you like what's happening right now with Halo Infinite, but I can tell you that not a whole lot of people are really that excited about the game. And so I'm wondering like, what can 343 do to maintain people's attention? Because what they're doing right now just isn't working. And I can show you why, because right here, again, this is gonna be the Steam charts, infamous Steam charts we all know and hate and possibly love if you like having negative information about Halo Infinite, but you can see that the current player counts right now that are going on, it's constantly dropping, right? A negative 20% pretty much almost every month since February. And I'm sure a big driver of that was this Mark IV armor set because it looks freaking incredible. But the downside is that most of that customization that we were used to earning within a battle pass was basically moved into the shop, about 90% of all the customization available, and you only had like that one armor set you could earn within the operation pass, and most of it, was filler content with an armor set and it was kind of just it. And that's why I believe we saw this population boost right here. But ever since then, it's been solid negative 20 pretty much every month, even though we've been getting these updates to the game and new modes, new maps and forge and things like that. But overall, it hasn't really done anything to bring people back to the game. And yeah, those are Steam charts. That's not the whole population. Most people are on Xbox, right? Well, if you look at the Xbox population, I mean, it's not really doing much better there, guys, because you have to scroll all the way down to 32nd place for most played Xbox games on their website. And there sits Halo Infinite, where before when Halo Infinite was doing seasons, it was sitting right around 15, not exactly thriving, but doing all right for itself. And the thing about the operation system right now is that people are getting kind of fed up with it at this point. And I brought this up in a previous video, but just so we're all on the same page here, when you look at the Anvil Operation, the launch trailer, it has way more dislikes than actual likes. Now again, like you said, the, the numbers exactly are not 100% accurate because you have to use a plugin. So only people can see who use a thumbnail to plug in. Whatever you get lost in the sauce when it comes to that information. But as someone who can see their like to dislike ratio themselves and has that same plugin, I'll tell you, it's rather accurate. So what's 343 going to do to keep players engaged? Because they're not going to revitalize the player base because they've already moved on to the new projects out there. But in the meantime, Halo Infinite's all we have. So you might think, oh, just new maps and new modes would be a great way to get people to play. Maybe a new sandbox item. Well, <laughs> let me tell you right now, new sandbox items not happening with Halo Infinite. So we're stuck with maps and modes, right? And well, we just got a brand new map and a brand new mode in Halo Infinite and do a whole lot to bring people back into the game. Because you look at Halo Infinite, they actually extended BTP Century Defense, which actually has been a really fun mode, a great reason to jump back in to play Halo, right? And we have the new map Command, which is a great map. It actually plays out very well. I actually really enjoyed the map. But the thing is, again, it doesn't really bring people back into the game. It doesn't really do much. So what is 343 going to do to, again, bring people back or at least keep the sustained project going with Halo Infinite. Well, I have an idea and it's not anything revolutionary or anything crazy, but I think it's something to play on people's nostalgia, which has been an easy win for anything Halo related. Do you guys remember Halo 3 Refueled when it came out back in October? People loved this so much so that we saw an 80% increase to average player counts when this mode went live. Like, yeah, there also was a patch that went live in October, but the, I'm sure most of that was the Halo 3 refuel playlist. I mean, I had people I didn't even know who liked Halo talk to me like, hey, I've been playing that new Halo 3 mode in Infinite. It's a lot of fun. And you know that crazy mode that people really enjoyed? Well, it's no longer in the game, actually. I'm actually really surprised about that because I went into the match composer here. I was like, okay, I don't see it as a main list. Maybe it's a quick play mode. And I was like, okay, let's sift through the 47 different modes I can look through and to find what I want to play. And looking through all this, I'm like, hold up. The Halo 3 refueled playlist, I can't remember exactly what the terminology, what they renamed it was, uh, but it's no longer in quick play. So there is like no classic nostalgia kind of version of Halo to play right now in Halo Infinite. I actually had to look this up and like, yeah, Halo 3 Refueled was removed from the playlist. Like, yeah, it's been there for like about six months or so. So people lose interest over time. But now what is something that 343 could do to revitalize that same type of nostalgia, but give a new experience? Let me tell you, it's not too crazy of a thought. And no, it's not Halo 2 Refueled, which could be a great map and mode combination. Don't get me wrong, but I think we need something a little more permanent. And this is where I think the mode that's really been created within the Halo community, within Forge by notable Forgers, that's already content available for 343 to take advantage of, 
and that is the classic Halo League. If you guys don't know what this is, basically players like Unique and other very great forgers out there have gone through and recreated so many amazing maps in Halo Infinite's Forge to be fitted to not only a style that's like a one-to-one -one recreation of these classic maps, but the gameplay is also tailored to be more classic Halo style as well. So the idea of the classic Halo League has been designed fundamentally a bit more competitive than your typical Halo social experience, right? But I do feel like there is a very easy way you could make this a much more social type of experience, right? Maybe change some starting weapons, things like that with a pistol, AR starts right, then starting with a battle rifle, or maybe using the Evo. But the big thing with it is what I would show is that you need to have a universal gameplay skill set that the players have. So like, for example, here, your strafe speeds are a little faster, moving left and right. There is no sprint within this mode either. There is no clamber as well. You can see I'm trying to jump up here. I'm, sp I'm in space, but I'm trying to clamber on top of this. Not really happening, even though I can jump on top of it. Your jump height is a little bit increased, a little more floaty, right? Kind of mimicking that classic feel a little bit more. So what's the benefit of sticking with a specific type of game mode rather than just making Halo 2 refueled or Halo Reach refueled or Halo CE refueled even or something like that? Oh my god, overkill, clip it! And the benefit is that you can design these maps around what your game style is, right, when it comes to playing Halo, so then you don't have to reinvent the wheel every single time. And what that, that allows itself to do for Forgers is basically you can hit six snipes like this, but uh, be able to forge around the player's abilities, right? And so then you can make maps tailored to this experience. Like you see, I'm playing on Beaver Creek right now. Or this amazing classic forge remake of Amplify, which again, one of the best Slayer maps ever made. I love, absolutely love this map. I just love how they've actually taken the detail to actually recreate what the old forge items looked like back in the day. Now you're probably wondering, how are you slaying this, Kevin? Like, well, I'm actually playing as boss because, well, no one's actually playing these on the custom game browser because, well, the custom game browser is really difficult to use. I'm sure many of you remember this map from the Halo 3 Refuel playlist. This is where the Pit remake was born in the CHL playlist crafted by the same Forgers. So am I saying just re-release all the classic maps back into a playlist? Well, not exactly. What I'm saying is you maintain this movement style, the abilities that the character has within this specific mode of the CHL, you build on top of that with different map packs, if you will. So say you launch with probably first some Halo 2 classic Halo maps, right? Being put into the CHL playlist. So one, you get the hype of a new mode, which is gonna be classic Halo, which people are of course going to love. And two, being Halo 2, which it's the 20th anniversary of Halo 2 this year. So why not celebrate that some way through Halo Infinite? And the CHL have already gone through and made some classic Halo 2 maps like Elongation, Warlock, Lockout, Sanctuary. I've played them. They're fun. So you have trusted forgers who already had maps put into matchmaking, have already made these maps. I say, why not take advantage of that? So you release the CHL playlist, which is going to be a new fun thing to do, along with like a Halo 2 map pack called a Maptacular playlist, if you will. So people jump in, play it like, oh God, I love Halo 2, right? Yeah, we all do. And then three months down the line, release what would might be like a Halo Reach map pack. And then you still use the CHL game mode. And then three months after, after that, do like a Halo CE map pack, and then three months after that, maybe a Halo 4 map pack, if you will. So then you're probably thinking, but Kevin, obviously there are clear differences between how these classic games play between each other. Well, you would be very right about that. CE doesn't play like 2, 2 doesn't play like 3, 3 does definitely doesn't play like Reach, and 4 is its, uh, it's, its own thing. This is where some concessions are going to need to be made, as in, Let's just agree that like Halo 3 is probably the most enjoyed Halo multiplayer ever made besides Halo Infinite and maybe some Halo 2. But the thing is that Halo 2, 3 and Infinite all have very similar gameplay styles. Obviously the lacking the sliding, clamber, sprint, stuff like that with the Halo Infinite. But they kind of use that battle rifle start similar type of mechanics, right? Let's just agree that those three games have the best multiplayer gameplay. So the concession I would say would be, yeah, you're playing Halo Reach maps on like what would be like Halo 3, Halo 2 style gameplay, but who wants to play Halo Reach multiplayer mechanics when you have Halo 2 and 3? So yeah, it might not lean too much into the nostalgia of the whole thing when you're playing like Halo 2, 3 style multiplayer gameplay mechanics on Halo Reach or 4 or even CE maps, but 
that's the best gameplay Halo's ever made, let's be real. I mean, if you wanted to do a CE version of what the CHL would be, they did find, Fortress did find a way to actually merge the Stalker rifle with the pistol in campaign for Forge stuff, right? So, I don't know how this would work in matchmaking, but I mean, they found a way to do it where it kind of mimics the same kind of mechanics as the classic CE pistol. So there might be something there. Oh my God, what they do to my assault rifle. This is a weird glitch I've ever seen, but I was about to say, they also found a way to bring like a extended mag assault rifle into the CE style game mode by merging the Sentinel beam with the assault rifle, as you can see right here. I don't know why this weird visual glitch is happening, but find it kind of hilarious and it's weird that they modeled that out even though it was never intended to be seen. So with a lot of the Forge maps already made, there is a playlist that's dedicated to being classic Halo gameplay. I say why not go for the easy W because pretty much anything that captures people's attention when it comes to anything Halo related for the moment right now is anything that leans into nostalgia. And also I'm missing the Halo 3 throwback playlist. I mean like, come on man, put that back in the game. I mean, you have 47 different game mode options within the quick play mode. What's like an extra one going to hurt? So I have a real question for you guys out there. What would be three maps you'd want to see for like a Halo 2 map pack, a Halo Reach map pack, Halo 4 map pack, Halo C? Let me know in the comments down below. I do like to read most of your guys' comments out there. If you made it this far into the video, you just want to engage with the video because, hey, analytics and things like that, leave a green heart in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to catch yourself in the next video out there. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.